Hi, it's Garrett Long with Upper Edge Property Management and in this week's video I'm going to be answering the question or rather frustration that we hear from some investors, rather new investors, is I don't understand your owner statement. So this is pretty common and that's because most of us aren't accountants and you know not to be funny about it but accountants have never complained about our owner statements or operating statements because they're really designed by and made for accountants but most of us aren't so I'm going to explain a little bit about it. So our operating statement is actually date driven which is why we can't simply provide an Excel spreadsheet. Being date driven an Excel spreadsheet would be very outdated if somebody pays on the 28th of the month or on the 2nd of the month and our operating statements are meant to capture um, you know an entire month operating there. Our operating statements are separated into three main sections. The first section is the profit and loss so that's at the top of our statement and a profit and loss obviously is our rental income minus any expenses and then you have the net profit for the month. The second section is actually the money going into and out of the owner's trust account. So that could be an infusion that you might have had for a new hot water tank or it could actually be the disbursement that you're getting that's going into your actual bank account where your mortgage, your property taxes or your insurance is coming out of. And the third section refers to what we call cash requirements and that is um, security deposits and that reserve limit. I've explained reserve limits in other videos. So the security deposit held and the reserve limit for that investor, that's what we refer to as cash requirements. There's also another report attached to this set of operating statements called the owner expense detail, which summarizes each disbursement in greater detail. And any of these reports can also be found in the online owner portal. So you can log in, you can download those statements, you can run year to dates, forward to your accountant, etc. So hopefully that answers your question today. If you like this question or you have some of your own that I haven't covered in previous videos, I'd love to hear from you. You can email a question that you'd like me to cover in a future video to info at upperedgepm.com. That's info at upperedgepm.com. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching today.